Despite a lot of the drama and a lot of the controversies, Minecraft has remained one of the most wholesome games there is. Well, I mean, it was wholesome until like now in like the 1.18 update where the warden's coming. That sh that you can't tell me that's not terrifying as shit. But Minecraft, as we all know, man, it goes so much deeper than just a wholesome little block game. There are secrets and glitches and just things that could be done that could change Minecraft as an experience for everyone. Many of these mysteries and secrets have been found out and tested with already, but one interesting rumor that has popped up recently surrounding Minecraft is about none other than its own moon. While I came across this right, I was sitting on the Iceberg Charts Reddit because that's where I like to be sometimes. And I saw one of the most popular posts so far in 2022 being the new redux of the Minecraft Iceberg, an iceberg that's been being updated for years now. And I wanted to look into it and do some of the research on the stuff myself. But digging near the deeper side of the iceberg, I actually started to find out some stuff I didn't know. And I thought I was a Minecraft professional, bro. I thought I knew the, the dedicated, dedicated wham, wham that was required, required to, to one a solo. solo. But one of the entries that interested me was don't stare at the moon and it was at pretty much the bottom and probot actually made a google document explaining all of his entries in this minecraft iceberg list scroll down to don't stare at the moon you see this description go along with it there's a rumor that there's a code in minecraft that checks when you're staring at the moon people have experimented with this and creepy things have started happening. Ooh, spooky. Shadow entities being set on fire and world corruption. Yeah, and I'm white, that shit didn't happen. But some people are more skeptical than I. For example, Legend. And he actually went in and did some experiments with these so-called rumors. And what came out of it was a terrifying set of videos. Many of these videos were unprivated and were uploaded in the past, but there were also three new videos that were uploaded on January 1st. So I decided to take a look deeper into these videos and see if there's some sort of connecting factor between them. Because I'm telling you, when we look into these videos, it's gonna get strange. Things don't go well for our good boy Legend Finder right here. Without further ado, let's get into those videos, but quick reminder to enjoy the video. Peace. Now, if you don't know what an ARG is or an alternate reality game, it is a type of game or media that is basically based on giving you, the player, an experience and telling you a story through general media that you use. Stuff that you'd see in a normal game, but instead it's presented through a form of media like YouTube videos or tweets. That's what this is. And since our main character is never really given a name, I'm just gonna assume it's a Legend Finder himself. In the first video, Clock Goes Haywire when looking at the moon, we see Legend Finder test out the rumor that if you look at the moon in Minecraft for long enough with a clock in your hand, then eventually it'll start to go nuts. As he writes in the description, the first thing I'm gonna test on the list. More specifically, the clock should randomly spin around when you look at the moon for a while, then block the moonlight via a wall. Doesn't seem to have worked. In the video, you see him testing this, and he's right, it doesn't work. There's nothing really out of the ordinary when it comes to this video besides the building that seemingly needs to nowhere. Video two is called Look at the Moon at the Exit to a Cave, where he tests out another theory where if you stare at the moon, rise up from the entrance to a cave, something else might happen. Something you'll immediately notice that's different about this video is that Legend recorded this on his phone and not on a screen recorder. He explains this as well in the description. Second entry. I switched to my phone camera because the next few things on the list don't specify what would happen if you did these things. Worst case scenario, the game crashes and I probably would have lost my screen recording. I thought this would have done anything, and it didn't, because I think a lot of people would have done this accidentally then. As you can see so far, nothing really out of ordinary happens. That is until we get to video three, going to the end at exactly midnight, where not only in this video do we find out that he's using a Mac, bruh, we also figure out that some of these rumors might actually be true, as when he hops in the portal at midnight, the end is completely dark. Video four is the strangest and longest video so far, where Legend tests out the rumor that if you look at the moon for an entire Minecraft night, something strange will happen. He then watches the moon go over his head for an entire Minecraft night until it eventually sets.
In the description, he writes out fourth entry and the longest. I don't know if the ending was a coincidence, but if it was, then it was timed perfectly. Zero clue what happened. This seemingly random instruction to watch the moon for entire Minecraft night crashes his entire computer. And when he loads it back up and tries to get back into his world, he's met with nothing but this. This video did not upload properly, I apologize. After my game crashed, I rebooted my computer. I uploaded the videos and decided to check on the game. The world was gone. But I made a backup beforehand just in case something like this happened. The backup was also corrupted. I don't know why. I don't know what else on my hard drive was accessed. I lost the world. It's, it's all gone. I don't think I'm going to start a new survival world. We had to fix the desk. And once he gets on, he's left with this. A corrupted world that kind of looks like, you know, the moon. Everything's just made of these weird endstone looking blocks. When it comes to this video, there's nothing that strange that occurs in it besides, you know. After Legend Finder stares at the moon and looks down, we get here at around 25 seconds. And I, 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 want, you, I want to know if you see anything. Let, let me just, let me just rewind it. Rewind, enhance, enhance. Yeah, you know, just some shadowy figures jumping in the background. It's no biggie. I will say this discovery disturbed me a little, but not as much as the next video, video six, did. Video 6 is titled Unfinished, and in the description you could see, This project was never finished, I hope you understand. Where the video is nothing but 20 seconds of an empty, dark room, where on the walls, you can barely, barely, faintly make out a bunch of clocks in item frames on the wall. And as you can also identify, all of them are facing midnight. In video number 7, 113020, we get Legend Finder walking through a forest and near a cave. At the final second of the video, you could see Legend pick up a clock that says it is midnight. The description of the video says nothing else but the sentence, it will be dark. Now all seven of these videos were uploaded a while ago, but only recently on January 1st, 2020, three new videos were uploaded. And they're all titled almost the exact same thing. Look at the moon for an entire night. And he does exactly that in each of these videos, except for once we get to video number 10, he seems to kind of stop. And throughout all three of the videos, if we check the descriptions, they say things like, perhaps it was a mistake. Second video, perhaps it was a mistake. And the third video, was it a mistake? Now, if you were just to watch this series just like this, it would probably not, not make that much sense to you. It really didn't before I did some more investigating into Legend Finder himself. Because the story behind these 10 videos goes deeper than just these videos. If we look right before it, we can see a slew of more mysterious looking content. After some seemingly normal videos, some memes, and some gaming stuff, we get to a video called Video 2020 1129. And if you've been paying attention, you might notice something about all of these mysterious videos. Most of them in the description or in the title have some sort of date associated with the recording. And those dates are the key. Because once you watch these videos in order, according to the dates that they said they were recorded, the stories all starts to make sense. After sitting here and watching the videos in order myself, I think I've come up with a definitive storyline for this ARG so far. So this is my interpretation. 
One day, a guy named Legendfinder wants to test out a rumor his friend sent to him that was on a strange forum where, if you stare at the moon for too long in Minecraft, strange things start to happen. Things light on fire, shadowy figures appear. Obviously not believing in these rumors, he loads up his survival world and gets to testing. So he starts testing these videos every once in a while, day by day, and he uploads them to YouTube for people to see the results of. He finds nothing that surprising until he goes to the end and finds it all dark. That, he just assumes, was a glitch. Nothing really startles him until the crash incident, where after looking at the moon for an entire night, his computer crashes, he tries to load up his world, and all of his stuff is completely gone and replaced with a barren, strange landscape. We can tell this startled him because of the description, as it says, I don't think I'm going to start a new survival world, we had to fix the desk. He then departs from testing out these Minecraft theories until about three days later, he shows off a project he's been working on. One that seems to involve clocks and the moon. The next recording by Legend Finder is about a month and a half later, where we find him outside, wandering around his town looking for the moon. He comes up to a children's playset and looks up to see the moon. is covered with clouds. The next video, we can indicate he was out there searching all morning for it, as we see at the end the sun is starting to come up. Once Legend gets back home, he is desperate to see the moon again. He loads up Minecraft after a long break to see the moon again, and after having a small walk through the forest, he looks up to get a clear view, and there is no moon to be found. He then goes into a cave, and at the bottom, at the last second, he picks up a clock that says it's midnight. This is the moment where everything starts. In the next video, which we can assume was recorded that night, we see Legend looking up at the sky, and he finds the moon shining. And he is just so excited, bro. You can see by the three videos of him just silently staring at the moon. He's so happy, he finally gets to see the moon again until... A light turns on and the moon is absolutely nowhere to be found. As we see, or I guess here, the next videos consist of him searching, running around in the dark, looking desperately for the moon, with titles like, I can't see it, I can see it, where? With the video's descriptions having messages like, please, this goes on until we get to a completely empty video of him walking through already walked through snow and he once again sees it. The moon shines and he is reconnected once more, but this reconnection is short-lived as the shining white glow disappears again. After some more pitch black video, we see what looks like a traffic light where I believe you can see a reflection of the sun starting to rise. Legend Killer realizes that the night is almost over and we cut to the next scene. We see what I think is Legend sitting curled up in a corner, sadly and darkly twitching, as I believe he's depressed that he again wasn't able to see the moon. In the next and final recording, on his way back home, he looks at the children's playset he saw in the first video outside and puts the camera down. The latest videos we've gotten take place just over a month later, where we see Legend staring at the moon once again. All of these staring at the moon videos were recorded in the same day, and this seems to be Legend's complete new obsession. This moon has completely taken over his life. And in the descriptions of each video, we see him questioning whether this was all worth it or not, until we get to the last video, where at one point, he seems unable to even move his gaze upward as he just sits there as the moon goes above his head and the camera tilts. So all in all, what I think happened here is a story of obsession, where a guy just wanted to investigate a fun little theory his friend sent him, 
and got his whole life taken over by it. There might be more parts coming soon. There might be things I'm missing. There might be things I'm totally jack shit wrong about. But I don't think it all matters because I think we can understand the message. Don't stare at the moon. Thanks for watching the video, my guy, or girl, I don't discriminate. But yeah, when I first started diving deep into this rabbit hole, I really wasn't expecting it, man. I I really kind of, I, I like how it's all shot. I like how it was put together. It doesn't feel like super high quality ARG type of thing, but I think it's a little cool type of side thing that was started off of this, you know? And I, I only discovered it because of this iceberg, like, and because of uh, Pro here on Reddit, so. Um, I'm, I'll link the iceberg and I'll link the original channel with the ARG on it in the description. I feel like my theory on the ARG does make sense because um, I can relate it to a lot of other stories I've heard about addiction to like drugs and stuff like that. Like, oh, I heard of this cool new, cool new uh, substance from my friend and then he gave me a token. I thought, oh, this is all fun and games. Let me just do it a couple times. Oh shit, I had this terrifying experience. I need more of it. I need more of it. I need more of it. I need more. Kind of like that, you know, and I thought like relating that to Minecraft would be a cool kind of relation. And I feel like this series really did pull that off. If that's what they were going for, it's still, this is just my theory. So if you have a different one, you can leave a comment about what you think is going on. I don't know how many ARGs and creepy videos I'll cover on the channel because like this one was about a block game and it gave me nightmares. To be honest, working on icebergs is boring. I've only made one and I've been trying to make another one for a while now. So I just decided, let me try another type of content to put on the channel and maybe you guys will enjoy it. I'm just gonna try to make some cool and fun stuff from this point on. Um, and if you wanna support me anyway, the only thing I'm gonna need you to go to and check out or be at right now is my Twitch channel, R260 underscore. I scream every, stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday where I chill, play a game, watch videos, and just have fun with chat, bro. Good vibes only. But yeah, I hope you all have a good day and that's gonna be it. Peace, peace. Hey. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. If you like RT60, you should like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. If you like RT60, you should like and subscribe. Okay.